Hey guys, Marble Tyler here, and I want to talk about the state of the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And they've done something amazing, obviously. They've set up this giant movie universe. They have 18, 19, something like that. Some crazy number of movies all crossing over into the same storyline. And obviously, there's been sequels done before. We've seen, you know, sequels done with you know, Spider-Man 1, 2, 3, even Star Wars way back in the day. I mean, we've seen sequels. That's that's nothing new. And the gaming industry has done the same thing. You know, we, we've had Halos 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and all the spinoffs and everything. We've had Mass Effect sequels. We've had Tom Clancy sequels. We've had all those things. But why don't we have a gaming universe similar to the Marvel Universe and the movies? Now, the reason I've come up with this idea is because I think... In gaming, it could apply even more so than it could in any movie or even TV show crossovers, you know, with like the Arrowverse or something like that. So here's here's the thing. The MCU crosses over stories, genres, characters, and, you know, settings and like events and everything. All those things cross over into different movies. Sometimes significantly, sometimes insignificantly, but there's little nods or Easter eggs or all this cool stuff. Gaming has a much bigger opportunity to do all of those things. So, let's say, for example, you're playing, we'll say, Assassin's Creed. And at one point, you know, in a modern setting, you go through a certain area and you explore a certain building or something like that. Or, if they finally make a modern game or something like that, you're traveling through this little district of a town or something like that. And then, in a different, you know, game, in Ghost Recon, for example... You know, they've had to evacuate the town because of some emergency event that's going on. And you and your team or whatever are running through that same district. That's a sharing of setting. That'd be really cool. Maybe in the Assassin's Creed game, that district got blown up. Or the event that, you know, caused everyone to be evacuated was caused by the assassins. Now Ghost Recon's going to figure it out before Templars or terrorists or whoever, you know, go to attack it. You know, those are, those are just some ideas... And the reason I mention them is because I had to list out some potential companies that, you know, could do this. The ones that are more primed to do it than others. The reason I say this is because it'd be really hard to cross over, you know, Mass Effect and Halo. You know, it, it's probably not going to happen. They're just different timelines, different stories. It wouldn't make sense. Everything would be chaos. It, it doesn't make sense. But there are some companies that it does make sense. And that they could honestly put some time into it and do it fairly easily. And it would it would feel great. It'd be really cool. It'd be little Easter eggs. It could start small or it could start big. So obviously, as I mentioned, Ubisoft. Ubisoft already teases each other's games and each other's games. You know, we've had in Watch Dogs, we had an Assassin's Creed Easter egg. I just made a video about how Rainbow Six Siege is having an Assassin's Creed Easter egg in its map. There's Splinter Cell in Ghost Recon. There's skins for everything in the Division and all this other stuff. There's all kinds of little nods crossing between different games and genres and everything. Now that's the Tom Clancy games, or Watch Dogs, and Assassin's Creed, and whatever else Ubisoft owns that's kind of like a third-person or first-person action game. So, they're kind of primed to set it up. You know, if you had in Ghost Recon, you're doing, you know, a mission here and there, and obviously we have already seen a little bit of a crossover with Sam Fisher in Ghost Recon, but I'm saying take it a step further. You know, whether it's a crossing story arc, or, you know, crossing villains or something like that. It'd be really cool, you know, and it's it's kind of challenging. And obviously, Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed can be thrown in there because technically, Watch Dogs is joint with Assassin's Creed because of their Easter egg. Assassin's Creed is joint with Rainbow Six because of their Easter egg. And all the Tom Can all the Tom Clancy games are kind of combined together. The Ubisoft gaming universe kind of exists, but not really. It's all just little Easter eggs and nods, which is fine. But that's not what I'm talking about here. We're talking about actual events and characters and settings and possibly missions that have to do with other games. You know, that would be really cool. And they don't have to be main missions. You have little side missions or whatever where, you know, Ghost Recon goes and assists, you know, the Siege team. And, you know, and Siege team is assisting, you know, disabling something so that Splinter Cell, Sam Fisher can get into wherever. You know, just little side things that kind of cross over. And obviously you could do big stuff like combine terrorist, you know, villains or whatever. You know, crossover events there, crossover events like repercussions from one game to the next in a different genre and a different series. Another company that's kind of, you know, primed to do it is Marvel. I mean, Marvel already does it in the movies. They've already have this, 
you know, planned out this master plan of, you know, this movie's gonna connect here and here and here, this event's gonna go here, 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 and they're really successful at it. What's stopping them from doing the same thing with the, you know, a gaming universe? Obviously, we have Marvel's Spider-Man coming out on the PS4. It does suck that it's exclusive if they were to do this universe thing. But, you know, imagine they go through, and it's, you know, it's its own standalone game. It's mainly Spider-Man. But there are some Easter eggs towards, you know, other superheroes. You know, and Reed Richards is somewhere, you know, in the in the world or whatever. And maybe you talk to him, or maybe you see, like, newspapers on him or something like that. And Johnny Storm. You know, maybe you see Avengers Tower, or you see something about Stark, or... You know, you see some little nods towards other heroes and other things that have happened in the Marvel Universe. We obviously know that Square Enix is working on a Avengers game. Maybe this and the Spider-Man game could be tied together, you know, narrative-wise, loosely. Maybe a side mission in Spider-Man carries over to Avengers, or some side characters, or obviously, Marvel's got a huge array of villains. So maybe, you know, Spider-Man ends up not catching a few in uh, the Spider-Man game. And that goes over to the Avengers game. I don't know. We obviously don't know much of anything about the Avengers game, but Marvel Marvel has it figured out. You know, if they could if they could do it in the movies, it'd be really easy to just throw in some nods, Easter eggs, some carryover villains. It would all make sense. It would all work really well to connecting this universe. The other you know series that's kind of primed to do it is of course Warner Brothers. They own DC. And they have the Batman Arkham games, which are great, they're fantastic, there is a conclusion to that story, but that story is also hinted towards other superheroes. You know, we've seen Superman and, like, Metropolis signs, and uh, Lex Luthor has a building in Arkham, in the Arkham Knight, and there's phone calls and stuff that happens. There's all kinds of hints, you know, oh, okay, there's possibly this superhero, possibly this superhero. You know, Arkham already has, or DC in this case, already has the games to do these crossovers or start these crossovers let's see it you know let's see it finally happen let's see the superman game be revealed or something like that one hopefully that'd be good two you know hopefully there's some crossover there we see you know repercussions of hey batman's gone right now we don't know what happened etc like all this cool stuff it'd be really awesome to see how it happened you know what's the aftermath of bruce wayne you know revealing himself spoiler alert bruce wayne is revealed as batman how does Superman and the Justice League take that, and how does it how does it happen now that he's disappeared for the time being? Be really cool. It'd be an awesome gaming universe idea. Now, obviously, this does pose a significant challenge, which is if you want a gaming universe similar to the MCU, you're gonna need eventually that Avengers title. Now, I'm not talking about like the Square Enix game. You know, I'm talking about compared to the MCU, where it was Iron Man and Thor and Captain America and Hulk. And then they all came together in one single game, or one single movie in this case. They all came together, and they all were part of this huge plot point, which was, you know, the Avengers fighting off the Chitauri in, uh, where was it, New York. Great, you know, great combination. How do you apply that to a game? You know, say we eventually have an Avengers, of an Infinity War game or something like that. You know, or uh, the Scroll War or something like that. Something from the Marvel event. Do you take... Spider-Man PS4 and copy and paste all of his mechanics into, you know, this Avengers title and take the Avengers characters from the Avengers games and copy and paste them. Like, it doesn't really work that way. They're kind of running on different engines. And so maybe if they made a universal engine or if they found a way to simplify the mechanics so they didn't play exactly like they did, I don't know. Truthfully, I have no idea. If you have ideas, please let me know because I, I would have no idea how to approach this without making a universal engine that you just copy and paste, you know, a lot of assets. There's nothing There's nothing that really comes to mind to solve this problem at first, besides, you know, maybe just hiring a ton of different studios to work on it. How would, how would you handle it? I want to know in the comments. Let me know what you think of this idea, because I would love to see some, you know, combined gaming universes. Just, just do it, you know, just even if it's a little, a little more than just little Easter eggs or a logo here and there, or a little side cutscene that you can find, you know, just make some side missions that are actually based on it, similar to Ghost Recon, but go further, expand on it, do more, I think it'd be really, really cool to see, you know, these combined universes, and again, let me know what you guys think, maybe you agree, maybe you disagree, but I think it'd be awesome to finally get, you know, some of these iconic crossover events, you know, whether it's Tom Clancy, or Marvel, or DC, or any other universe, let me know if some other ones made sense to you, maybe, 
I, I don't want to say <laughs> I don't want to say Nintendo because they have Smash Bros. But you know, if something else makes sense to you, that's like, oh yeah, that'd be an awesome you know combined universe. Let me know because I really want to see this happen. I think it'd be a great idea. Uh, other than that, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And I really hope to see you guys in the game.